Hi folks, I wanted to talk a little bit about this Phantom 2 Vision Plus that everybody's been talking about. There are a lot of videos on YouTube and it's all very impressive stuff. There's one thing I want to tell you about that might help you, because they call these ready-to-fly systems and it does come with everything you need to get going right away. But in my case, it was more ready to crash. And so I'll just tell you what I did so that you don't go through the same disappointment that I went through. You see, I bought a quadcopter a couple of years earlier and I didn't have all the great features of these DJI quadcopters for navigation with the GPS and radar and gyroscopes and compass and all the stuff that's in there. The one I got was very hard to control. You couldn't just hover, you know, in one spot without doing a lot of tricky trim adjustments and whatever and, and I, I never could quite get it right. I crashed it a few times. I broke some things. You know, it was just, I didn't fix it. It was hard to uh, get past that. But this one, you know, it, it, it's very stable and very nice and I saw the YouTube video showing what it can do. Uh, when I got it, I followed all of the instructions. I read the quick start guide. I read the real manual. I got into a lot of details. I was very careful about uh, setting everything up exactly as they said, do the compass calibration, which is, you know, where you do this and you do that. And I had it all set, I had it on the ground, and I went to ease up on the stick to lift off. And the first thing it did was uh, tip backwards like that. And so I thought, well, uh, maybe if I just uh, use the controls to kind of counteract that, and get it off the ground and, and once it gets up in the air it'll it'll start to fix itself and so I tried it went you know over there and crashed hard and so then I tried it again and it crashed harder and then I tried it a third time and it went over the fence and crashed harder still and actually broke one of these prop guards and also chipped off part of the propeller and it was very disappointing it was all covered with grass stains at that point and I thought you know, is this a defective unit? What do I need to do to return it, refund, repair? I was just very flustered by the whole experience because it was not working the way the videos, all, all the other videos showed how nicely it worked. So, uh, I, you know, I stopped, decided to regroup, uh, went in and I did something that the quick start guy didn't tell me to do but turned out to be a good thing to do. I used the assistance software that you can download right from the DJI website and I plugged it in using this little uh, this little port right here in front with the appropriate micro USB cable that comes again with the device so I had everything I needed. Downloaded the software and I ran a calibration of the IMU. This is where you need to put this thing on a flat surface let the computer run the calibration and you know it's a very step-by-step -step, easy to do if you follow the instructions and then I used some JB weld to kind of patch up where in two places this prop guard had been broken just this one of the prop guards I put on one of the spare props that came with it and waited till the next day then when I went to lift off it, it went straight up and it was stable and it was like it should be. So it was the IMU calibration that fixed the problem I was having. Now if you go online, as I was of course uh, trying to do, uh, look at, looking up information on how to deal with problems, one of the things I saw people were suggesting that uh, you can't just ease these up off the ground. You got to kind of gun it and let it hop off the ground and then once it's in the air and starts to move around it gets its bearing with the GPS and stuff and it fixes itself. Uh, that is bad advice. Don't do that. Uh, the actual manual and the quick start guide tell you to uh, ease up to lift it off the ground and uh, as long as everything is calibrated correctly you should have a good experience easing it up off the ground. When I tried doing it a different way before I had that IMU calibration, I ran into trouble. I broke some things. I have a new set of prop guards on order. I'm, I'm going to, uh, you know, replace this bad one and have some spares on the prop guards. I'm going to get some more spare uh, props as well. And I'm happy. Uh, I have not had a hard landing quite as hard as I did that first day ever since I figured out what what was wrong with the calibration. 
So that said, I know you want to see footage of what this incredible thing can do. So let me just show you some of the things I did just flying around uh, over my house. I live kind of in a rural area and some of the shots were, you know, they look like I'm way super high in the air. I was only about 200 feet up. I know that you're not really supposed to fly these above 400 feet, but if you look around YouTube, you're going to find people that have gone really, really crazy with these. Um, again, I just went up 200 feet and I thought that that was more than enough to get the effect I was looking for. I'm of course starting off slow. I don't want to do any crazy maneuvers. I think one of the strengths of this device is that you can do really slow movements and with the stabilization of not only the quadcopter but then the camera gimbal that is part of the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, that stabilization makes really slow moves look super professional and nice and for for you know the time being I'm really going to concentrate on doing deliberate slow pretty movements and you can see some of the results of what I was able to do again not right out of the box but the next day once I did a little bit of adjustment uh, works fantastic and um, but again I just wanted to help anyone out there who might have experienced the problem I have, don't fight your way through it, do the calibration, then try again. If you're not getting a stable takeoff, don't push yourself. Try to kind of massage through these problems and fix that before you wreck your prop guards. All right, have fun with it guys, and uh, I'll keep showing some pretty images as I get a little bit more experienced with the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus. Well, just as a quick little aside, uh, if you happen to get grass stains on your Phantom helicopter because of a few hard landings, I found that if I sprayed a little bit of it, uh, Windex on a paper towel and then just rubbed it, the grass stain comes right off and it looks good as new. So, um, just a tip.